All right, welcome back to Act Razor Renaissance. I'm going to try this other recording app and allow me to read the text a little bit better. So we're still in the first stage in Fillmore, doing the 2D platforming section. Um, and then you'll see the kind of the city building part of it. So God's essence has imbued this knight statue, and now, the, now it's a real knight. So it's basically your God in the flesh, your um, a Jesus knight going to lay the smack down on all this evil. <laughs> that was cool, Lily paused. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, checkpoint. So in video game vernacular, a checkpoint is simply uh, where you respawn when you die. So you don't have to start all over from the beginning. So if you die past this point, I would just go back to there. I'm not playing this with a controller. I'm playing this on my iPhone. Uh, the, the controls are fine if you're playing on easy. I, a, a controller would be better. So one thing I learned is really awesome. You can switch between kind of the classical Super Nintendo music or the uh, Renaissance, keeping it uh, new. I turned the volume up so you can en enjoy it a little bit more. With this other app, I, I think the volume's quieter, so I might as well turn it up anyway. I think my volume was a little bit loud on the last one. Yep, got to hit that log, get it to go down. I'm closing in on the end of the stage here. Going to smite the foes. Yeah. Kill all the things, smite them all in the name of the master, in the name of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can learn all this stuff. Kind of tutorial. There's these gravestones that give you a tutorial on how to fight. So I, I heard one criticism of the game. They were like complaining about the pre rendered graphics or something, but I, I don't know what the hell they were talking about. The graphics in this game are awesome. Um. Now, similar, I love the Super Nintendo version of Act Razor. It's easily in my top 10 video games of all time just because of just the groundbreaking nature of it. It certainly was awesome when I was 11 or 12 when I played it. Um, but it, it still holds up even now. I'm, I'm uh, 41, so I was born in 1981. And I still come back to Act Razor every now and then. I've beaten the Super Nintendo version more times than I know how to, uh, just many, many times. So I'm getting kind of nailed here. <laughs> I, I almost die. Almost dead, but we'll see if the Stanimal can reign supreme and get past this. I'm, I'm trying to get up to these uh, power-ups, these health power-ups that'll give me more health. And losing probably twice my life in the process, so <laughs> I would have been better off just pressing on. Oh well. Oh well. Now, generally, I'm not as into like platforming type games like this, but I, I make an exception for this game. This game is just uh, the, it, 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 it's a uh, the sum is definitely greater than the parts. It, um, so here's the first boss, like the centaur. The graphics are just phenomenal. Um, he's awesome in the Super Nintendo version also. Centaurus. Um, I think the trick to beating this guy is just get behind him. He, he's actually pretty easy. You just got to get behind him. If you stay in front of him, he'll waste you with this like staff lightning thing that just looks awesome. But yeah, you don't want to be hit with that. But as you can see, I'm just wailing on his rear behind him. If you just get behind him and wail on him, it's super easy. He wasn't too challenging in the other version either. And a good first boss just to kind of introduce you to the game and stuff. You're not meant to be held up here. Um, you're meant to go on past this even if you're a beginner. So not too tough. Pretty easy. Just get behind him. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, the Act Razor. <laughs> Whatever an Act Razor is. There is no such word, as far as I know, of an act razor. It's just the name of the title.
All right. I think I'm coming up close to the end here, but I can read some of the screen. So here we are. I'm going to be stopping soon, but I'll get through this uh, town part really quick here before I start the game again. So you defeated kind of the initial wave of monsters. Now the people can settle. So now you're the angel. Rejoice, Master Stan. Okay. I, I can read now, um, but I'll do it in another video because I, I didn't think I could at first, so I just went through the text really quick. But now I'm going to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They always uh, interrupt you with stuff. <laughs> the people are needy, They're always asking their God for everything, which is fine. Um, this God chooses to provide directly. Um, they, they don't get the concept of teach a man to fish, feed him for a day, or uh, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. They don't really get that concept. All right, this is part two coming to an end soon. Yep, just gonna fly around and angel. So that angel is not you. That's like your helper. Um, so you're not the angel. You're you're God. And when you play this game. All right, gonna save it up and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue in part three.